Hey, what's up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it's always motherfucking Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into Doja Cat. So Doja Cat did finally reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with her new song, Paint the Town Red, that's been out about five weeks now. So although the song did not debut at number one, like I said, she has reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 as of today. This is her second entry on the Billboard Hot 100, her first solo entry. Her first entry was Say So that she did with Nicki Minaj. So with that being said, we ain't going to be mad over here. We're going to go on ahead and give Doja Cat her mother in flowers out before we go any further just 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 give a bitch her, her roses though i mean you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses like, you know what i'm saying i did now since we got that out of the way you guys we had to get into the fact that people are not feeling like this is an organic hit okay i did see the numbers that they were trying to say doja cat was getting daily and i'm not saying that it's impossible but it did look like a little impossible if you ask me but um people were also feeling not only was the payola active but also that the devil pushed her to number one you guys know doja cat has been on some weird things lately so people are definitely feeling like it's the illuminati that's getting her these numbers because she was not doing this before. Let's be very clear. But anyways, you guys, let's go on ahead and get into those posts from chart data. Billboard Hot 100, number one, um, plus two, paint the town red, Doja Cat, five weeks, new peak. So like I said, this is a new peak. It did take five weeks for the song to reach number one, which is also crazy because that weird song Demons just came out, right? Well, Chart Data also tweeted, Paint the Town Red becomes Doja Cat's first solo number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and second overall following Say So remix with Nicki Minaj. And here were some of the comments. Slay Doja, congratulations. Yes, we finally won. The devil is working overtime on this one. The most inorganic song ever, Payola. Her album better be great. You bitch! How dare you? Oh my god! So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is actually an organic hit have you guys been buying and streaming it let me know what you guys think about that let's go on ahead and move forward into some facts about botsy b and megan the stallion okay the payola has kicked in as far as bozo goes we knew this was going to happen after somebody had to come off of 200 million dollars for a um video or two million it could be two million who knows um the song is not doing well so of course they had to pick up that payola as you can see here cardi b fe uh featuring megan the stallion bozos up in the corner you see ad right that's me that means they're paying to have their video be seen and as you can see here, Cardi B featuring Megan The Stallion, Bozos, and it also says add up in the corner. And then also here from Instagram, Cardi B featuring Megan The Stallion, Bozos out now. And as you can see down there at the bottom and the top, it says sponsored. That means, again, they are paying for this video to be seen, which means it is not an organic hit. Also, one of Barty Gang's fans also posted, still have faith the song will make a climb. Y'all really think Atlantic is finna not fire up those payola machines after spending $2 million 
on the video. Come on now. So I guess it was two million. Excuse me. Um, anyways, one more person saying we are seeing it in real time again. No organic, nothing. Because you guys know no one's listening to that song. I cut that bullshit off. <laughs> Who wrote that? Let's get some writers back to the drawing board. Right up. Okay, let the payola speak for itself. Let's go on ahead and move forward. Our next topic is going to be about 77 cents continuing to have to basically explain her lyrics, you guys. Every time she releases a song, she's trying to throw some shots at somebody or she's trying to like have a bar moment and none of her bars hit like nobody ever catches her bars. So she's constantly having to explain to her fans what her bars actually mean. And now she had the audacity to try to get mad at the people who don't understand her bars as if it's their fault. Check this out. Let me break it down for the people that's not fast. Uh, say, give me that net like benzene. No. That mean if I if I say give me that, that mean it's took, right? That mean it's gone, right? I seen some people talking about, but he don't got no neck. That don't make sense. Keep up. Keep up. Embarrassing. <laughs> Now, before we get into another bar that she is currently trying to clear up, here are some of the comments. Uh, music artists go on Genius all the time to break down their lyrics. Help. The comments after Lotto explains still doesn't make sense. And one more person said, when you got to explain your bars or punchlines, that means they're trash for real. <laughs> Now, let's get into that infamous bar, um, that Coke bar that she keeps trying to throw shade with. Now, she's trying to backtrack and say that it does not mean giving, okay? Um, somebody says she keeps doing that same lame A nose move, pack that sh up. She just starting to be corny to me. I used to like her for real, for real. And Lotto retweeted that and said, no way y'all think that means coke. And I'm just like, girl, come on now. What does it mean then? What what does it mean, Lotto? You stupid? Did you really just say that dumb ass shit? Did you really just say that? And here were some of her comments. Now, Lotto, you know damn well what else does it mean? And one more person said, Oh, so now it meant something else? Girl, girl. So let me know what y'all think about that. Do you guys think that 77 cents is throwing punchlines that everybody's missing? Or do you guys think that her fans are the slow ones? <laughs> okay, <I'll> <laughs> Anyways, until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.